The Woman of the Year Award, supported by Virgin Atlantic, goes to Dylan Mulvaney. God damn it! You can't make this shit up! Hello, London! I am so honored to be here with you all tonight. And, you know, some see me as the Woman of the Year as I only publicly came out online 560 days ago. And some people don't see me as a woman at all. You are gay. Yeah. Not a trans Ooh. woman's fault. That is men's fault. Men are the problem, not Dylan, not trans women. Except, oh, men are the problem. Except no, trans women, not men. Men are the cause of you to come back to us. That is what the problem is. Riley, are you saying it's not? Are you Let saying you're you not something. a victim you of men? Because what, what are we talking no, about? No, what She's I'm saying here is what we are suffering men. from as a nation. No, 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 really, no, globally, no. what we're suffering from. Women forever have been a victim of men. That is true. No, she's right? a victim. She's a victim of gay here, men. Here, let me take that's you back. This, let me tell you what, what so I'm a victim men of. Do you know what? Let's just pick on all the minorities. Let me just throw Megan in as well. Is a gay man in this. Okay, guys, welcome back to another episode. This is the most, or one of the most recent episodes from the Pierce Morgan show, where they basically debate Dylan Mulvaney, the guy in the first clip who'd won Woman of the Year award. And basically everyone's in agreement except for this guy here, who he just cannot handle people having a different opinion to him. And of course he has, or is on the verge of having a, com a complete meltdown. So I'll link the full video down below if you want to go check that out, but let's get into it. Was a gay man till the mid twenties. I don't think but you, do you realize that James, James, do you realize that Dylan... James, I don't think you have any right to compel you know, women do you to say that this is Do you understand how woman? difficult it is to, to realize that you're trans, to understand the complexity? Do you sure. understand the complexity of that? how does this help that? them? You have trans How does this help you trans know Do you have that any it is idea how to find difficult it is to, to be a woman? Riley has a very good report. We've discussed that. this before. Hang on, Riley. It doesn't make you right. You mentioned you have no idea how difficult it is to, to identify as trans. Let me ask you, do you have any idea how difficult it is to to be a woman in today's climate and then to be entirely mocked by a man merely posing to be a That's woman? That's how do you, you feel and that is not true. How idea? That is how not you, Dylan, yeah, how you, Well, Dylan that's not just not, how I feel. There has, been an, avalanche. Not there has been an women. avalanche of, of people not. on TikTok, on the left and the right, coming out now saying, hold on, this Dylan is wrong, is and this isn't the first time that Dylan Mulvaney has been under fire. Here's the thing. His first, his first um, days uh, of girlhood, he I'm came out after day 365 or whatever her. day you it don't, was. You can't compel people to do that. Yes, you can't. Can, no, you can't. You can call <laughs> Dylan Mulvaney. You can call Dylan Mulvaney whatever is. you want. It's discrimination. But Riley Gaines, of all and people. Listen, Riley, I do sympathise with you, you know about what? how no, difficult no, it is. Riley you. Gaines has had to compete against biological males. I want to listen to how difficult it is to be a woman because I want to understand that. I know that's tough. As a gay man, I'm also a victim of the patriarchy. We all bloody off. Get the fuck out of here. Here you have Riley Gaines, a ex-professional swimmer. She's trying to talk to this guy and explain how hard it is as a woman and especially the struggles involved when they have to compete against men because she's had to do that. This guy here has then gone on to say, well, I really sympathize with you. I really want to understand you. <laughs> you're never going to understand what it's like to be a woman because you're not a woman. All you can do is sit there and listen to what she's trying to tell you. But obviously because Riley Gaines is keeping it real, it's not going along with his delusion. He's not actually willing to listen to it. And if you remember 20 seconds before he said he's trying to sympathize, he actually said, I'm not willing to debate you because you keep misgendering Dylan Mulvaney. So basically, you're not going to debate her unless she goes along with the ideology. But because she doesn't want to do that, you're not willing to debate. So you don't really want to understand her, do you? Um, so that's what this is. It's a mockery of a woman. And let's be real. Uh, I think the most ironic part of this is he looks like a man. If you're watching that video, he looked like a man who was wearing a wig with pigtails. He's not <laughs> fooling anybody. Brandon, I mean, it's complicated. I don't, you know, I have nothing but respect for people who transition, for transgender people. I want them to have the right... For transgender people, I want them to have the rights to fairness and equality. I'm all... Sure you wouldn't have stopped oh, Riley on. from misgendering, please. Well, hang on. I'm so going to come to that. That's clearly not true. I didn't misgender her. No, but you would have stopped her from doing okay. that on your programme. Well, OK, we'll come to you in a moment, James. That's you want but I want to people use. to be kind. I am kind. You're just I am calling, lovely. You're, you're calling, calling her kind. mentally unwell. Who is mentally unwell? That's, that's, oh, my, nice. how, that's how, very 
very Excuse unkind. Me, I'm Everyone sorry. on this panel so if, far has uh, had zero empathy for someone, any of the people we're discussing. You, had no you, had no just, you, you don't want to hear Riley, other people's opinions. Then, then Riley has you don't want to hear other people's opinions. Yeah, Brandon, come in. Everyone, ha everyone has an opinion. You may not like the opinion, yeah. which is but fine. I don't love? agree with you. Where's it the doesn't love? It's in, matter. It's not lying. You, that's your, you, you think love is lying to people and deceiving people. I think love is telling people the truth and being consistent across the board. Dylan Mulvaney is crazy. Where's the dignity? Now, let me tell you, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Where's the respect? Let's put this in perspective. Let's put this in perspective. Where's the respect? Because I think people get caught up in the, in the gender role thing. Just imagine if a person was white and decided to identify as black, and did all of these crazy We've things had, that this they argument has been had so many times. Listen, that they did stereotypically what black people would do. We would be outraged. We would. It would be a sham. I agree. We would not accept it. And so we shouldn't do that. What Dylan Mulvaney is doing is wearing women face. The person is but, not a woman. He's not trying to be a woman. He's impersonating. I, honestly, like, I can't continue to sit here listening to this absolute nonsense. You got a gay man who has a, a lust oh for fame and fortune. And what does he do? If it's being gay is not working out for you, you become trans and you try to make a lot of money, which is what Dylan Mulvaney has done. Dylan Mulvaney is not an example of women. He's not even trying to be a woman. He walks around with a five o'clock shadow and dresses up in women's clothes and mocks women. He's berating women. I have never in my life seen a woman act like Dylan Mulvaney. Not one person on this panel can show me a woman that's as flamboyant and radical and twitching and twisting and acting like Dylan Mulvaney. Are you Mulvaney. insane? Did it you watch the Barbie exist. movie? What are you talking about? What, talking about who are you to talk about, about who a woman is? You're real a life. Life. This is well, absolutely who, who are you to talk about? I'm not telling anyone who a woman is, but I'm certainly not telling someone who isn't a woman. I've never seen a woman. Do you think Dylan like Mulvaney? He is making no sense whatsoever. Not only is he on the verge of having a meltdown, but here we have a grown man, not even in control of his own emotions, banging on the table. I mean, it's pretty embarrassing, but he said to Officer Tatum, who was speaking facts, by the way, how can you tell us what a woman is? You're not a woman. And then Piers Morgan and called him out but I think he let it slide a little bit too easily he said well who are you to tell us and he said no I'm not telling you that I'm not telling you what a woman is yeah you are this whole time he's been basically saying Dylan Mulvaney is a woman so by his logic you can't tell us what a woman is unless you are a woman but then he also believes that you can become a woman if you are a man how can a man become a woman if you believe that a man can't even tell you what a woman is make that make sense so I don't even think he knows what he's speaking about he's so filled up with emotion he doesn't even know what he's saying so it's pretty embarrassing but yeah go and check out the full interview i'm gonna put the link down below came out many years ago as gay and then he said he was actually uh gender queer and then he said he was non-binary said he didn't know what it meant of course he didn't because there's no such thing they but i thought sort of thing if you're gonna make everyone else distort the language you should know what you're talking about first and the other thing he does is you know like uh, taking all these clothes off stuff and the thing that makes it different from other people is that when oh i don't know justin timberlake or rihanna or someone stripped down they do so because they look good. Sam Smith is like pudgy and very ugly. Why say don't ridicule me when you deliberately make yourself look ridiculous? No, that is disgusting. That is a completely disgusting Well, it is disgusting. Yeah. It sounds like you're a little bit too obsessed with them, if I'm honest with you. No, 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 I can assure you I'm not. I know what I like, and I don't like fat, blubbery show-offs who look hideous dressed in lacy pants with their fat spilling out everywhere and doing it in front of as many people as possible to gain attention. I just don't find that sexy. I'm old-fashioned. I'm a feminist. Do you feel that, like, free speech is free for everybody? in terms of Western society. At what point does free speech no longer become free? What do you mean, at what point does it become no longer, no um, longer become free? Some rhetoric can be harmful to other communities. Can you give me an example? It's always easier to you know, answer a um, question. So if like, I have a... what I know we all are aware of what happened on campus last year. Um, with... I'm not. Great, look it up. Um, so, so it was just okay. involving um, the feeling of LGBTQ members of the community feeling unsafe with rhetoric that's being shared in terms of transphobia, like, what, uh, like if you're a man, I need an example, and someone, like if you're a biological man and someone says, hey, what's up, dude? Yeah, I mean, I the idea that if somebody looks at a man and calls him a man, that they're suddenly unsafe because they've created a false reality in their own head. Um, yeah, I don't abide by that. I think this is what, what's really happening is that we are celebrating mental disorders in America right now. Um, Men are so superficial. Would you date a guy that's shorter than you? Absolutely not. I'd at least 6'2". At least 6'2". Yeah. How tall are you? 5'5". Five, 5'5". Five. Five, five. Yeah. So 6'2". 6'2", well, five, 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 six yeah. bare minimum. 
Yeah, I just like tall dudes. Top comment reads, she is about as self-aware as a brick. <laughs> My point was we are the same. There's an entire show called ID Channel, a network dedicated 24 hours a day to women getting abused, murdered, sexualized, and violated. And you are too, sister. And trans it's women the same. violence, and you do nothing for them. Trans women are in men's prisons. And what have you done for them? What have you done for women? Lots of things. Yeah. I've, I've done, done lots of things violence. too. You don't I know my life. Don't sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Enough. Don't Get sir. lost. I am a woman and trans women. Congratulations. Are Sister, don't put your labels on me. Don't you do that. Don't worry about Do not put your label on me. I don't come from your planet. Leave me alone. I do not subscribe to your rules. So here you got a trans woman, basically a man, calling a real woman a cis woman, screaming and shouting, and then complaining that you've got trans women in men's prisons. Translation, you've got men in men's prisons. What kind of argument is that? <laughs>